So we are working with back families. So we have nine divided by three equals something. So we're going to use it back to multiplication. So three times something is nine. So we're going to count by three. So we get to nine. Three, six, nine. Just three. So we have three times three is nine. And then we have the division part of it. Nine divided by three is three. Nine divided by three is three. All right, 25 divided by five. So we're gonna do five times something is 25. So we're gonna count by five, so we get to 25. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. We count it five times. So five times five is 25. So we do division, 25. We're gonna split that into five groups. Five, 25 divided by five is five. Okay, 40 divided by eight. Something. So we're going to do the multiplication part of it. 8 times something is 40. So we're going to count by 8 until we get to 40. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. 5 times. So for our fact counting, it's 5 times 8 is 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. So 40 divided by 5 is 8. 20 divided by 5. So we're going to look at the back family. 5 times something is 20. So we're going to count by 5, so we get 20. 5, 10, 15, 20, 4. So 4 times 5 is 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. 10 divided by 2. 2 times something is 10. So we're going to count by 2, so we get to 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 5. So 5 times 2 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 28 divided by 4. 4 times something is 28. So we're going to count by 8 until we get, or we're going to count by 4, so we get to 28. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, so 7. So 7 times 4 is 28. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 28 divided by 7 is 4. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. 45 divided by 9. So 9 times something is 45. So we're going to count by 9 until we get to 45. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. So 9 times 5 is 45. Division is 45 divided by 9 is 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9. So 45 divided by 9 is 